Good morning. Good morning. Today is September 21st, the feast day of St. Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist, the entrance antiphon. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, says the Lord. The intention for today's Mass is for Charles, Carlo, and Vincenti Jr. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You will send to you the contract of Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father in the sea for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us into everlasting life. It is the church celebrating the feast day of St. Matthew the Apostle today. We also say Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you, O Lord, are the Holy One, you are the Lord, are the Lord. You are the Lord, are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who with untold mercy will lead to choose as an apostle, Saint Matthew, the tax collector, grant us sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in all we do. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. One body and one Spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all was over all, through all, and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message.
We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord, the glorious company of apostles. Praise you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at a custom house. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisee saw this and said to his disciples, Why do your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, the church celebrates the feast day of St. Matthew the Apostle. He is also the evangelist. He wrote the gospel that appeared first in the New Testament. He was not a popular man. Many people felt that he was unworthy to become an apostle as he worked for the Romans with the job of tax collector. At the time of Jesus, the Romans were ruling the Palestine and the Jewish people. They forced the Jewish people to pay tax to them. Many of the tax collectors were cheating to the people by charging more tax than requirement. Then they kept the extra money for themselves. For this reason, the Jews considered them as the traitor. About St. Matthew, even though he should be considered as a traitor, Jesus knew that he was not a traitor. In chapter 9 of his Gospel, which we just heard today, he also tells a story about how Jesus called him. He became the patron saint of bankers as he deal with money as a tax collector. But anyone who read the Gospel from him should know that money was not important to him. What important to him was to believe and live as the follower of Christ. He helped us to remember that it is our faith in Christ that makes us truly rich in him. His gospel was for Jewish people who had become the follower of Christ. He wanted his audience to know that Jesus was the Messiah coming to save people. He made clear that Jesus is the fulfillment of everything which was said by the prophets in the Old Testament. In writing about the Beatitudes, he is the only evangelist sharing the eight Beatitudes with his readers. The, those Beatitudes are also required for those following the new law of Christ. The symbol for his gospel is a man with wings. This winged man referred to human ancestor, as his gospel deal with the geology of Christ. Then, besides writing the gospel, people also believe that he established the Christian community in Ethiopia and other sections in the continent of Africa. Tradition tells us that he dies as a model. Jesus chose him as one of the foundations of the church, a man for others, judging from his job. Thought was not only enough for his position, but he was honest enough to admit that he was one of the sinners whom Jesus came to call. He was open enough to recognize the truth when he saw and followed Jesus Christ. Having listened to God's word, let us bring our prayers to the Father with flowers and faith. Our church leaders, may the peace and mind of Christ 
be their guide and their strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear. For all in civil power and authority, may Christ strengthen their conviction for peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear. For all who are facing difficult trials and challenges in their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear. For peace in our world, <clears throat> for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For an increase <clears throat> in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, <clears throat> Let us now pause to add our own intentions in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal Father, as we celebrate St. Matthew, we ask that you hear our prayer and answer them according to your holy will, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Prayer for protection and healing from coronavirus. Lord Jesus, who travel to towns and villages, heal every disease and illness. Come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may share as your children of Heal those who are sick with the virus, may they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died on the virus in some peace, protect our church, blessings, and health care professionals. They say, help us sick. Guide your sister to develop a vaccine. Be with leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act and to concern for their people. Stay by our side this time of uncertainty, anxiety, and sorrow. Grant us your peace. We pray this in the most holy name, Jesus. For you are our lovely and holy Lord. Our Lady of Rosa, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier, St. Rob, and St. Rosalie, we pray for us. Amen. Our family prayer. Loving and faithful God, through the years that people are our diocese, have appreciated the prayers and love of our Lady of Consumble. In times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness, we come to you, Father, and Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle of today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community founded on the virus of Jesus. With you, we respect the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may walk their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be selectors of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones in violence. Hear our prayer and give us a perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this to Christ our Lord, our Lady of God, so patient to help us. Mother, dear, 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 dear. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, and the book of human names. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and book of human names, it will become our spiritual drink. Praise my brother and sister, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate anew the memory of St. Matthew, we bring you sacrifice and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church, whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the Apostle, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
place of your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not deserve your glory. But through the blessed apostle, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by whose you have appointed shepherd. You lead it in the name of your son. And so with angels and archangels, with thorns and obedience, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the name of your glory, as without end we unclaim. Holy, holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. May holy their bodies give we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sophos was handed, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of prayer. When we eat this prayer and drink this cup, we proclaim your death until you come early. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have kept us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be guided to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread out the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, the spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you through our ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <coughs> At the same command and form my divine teaching, we dare to say, our Lord, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, who we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save our own strength, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity. In accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lord,
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold He who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is thy God, born to the supper of the Lamb. The communion after time. I did not come to call the just, but sinners, says the Lord. Let us pray. Sharing in us saving joy, O Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home, we pray, grant that we may always be renewed by the good we receive from Christ, who came to call not the just, but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord will be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Master is entered. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 
May God reveal to you with complete praise and the doubts of the heavenly hosts. By the power of God, can you see their statement? 